welcome viewers, Nick here once again, and today I have an exciting video featuring a powerful Windows 10 mini PC stick from a company called AWOW. So this is the AWOW NY41S, and it runs on an Intel Celeron Gemini Lake J4105 CPU on 8GB of RAM and 128GB of SSD storage. Today's video is going to be exciting because first I'll briefly run through its Windows operating system and hardware specs. Then I'll attempt to convert it into an Android TV box installing Android x86. Then I'll attempt to install Fido OS, which is actually Chrome OS with an Android subsystem. This operating system will grant me Netflix in HD and the option to have root access to install any Android app from the Play Store or sideload any APK. So stay tuned, that's up next. So here's a look at what's inside the box. You get the mini PC stick itself. Its dimension is 5.5 inches long by 2 inches wide by 3 quarter inches thick. You get one HDMI female to male HDMI cable, one 5 volts 3 amps 15 watts power supply, US, UK and EU interchangeable plug pins, and a user manual. So for its design, the entire shell is made of plastic with no ventilation holes. It has some weight to it, so I hope this is an indication that there is sufficient heatsink on the inside. At its base, it has one RJ45 Gigabit LAN port, one display port and a Kensington lock. To one side, it has two USB 3.0 port, one Type-C charging port, a microSD card slot and a power button. On the other side, it only has a headphone jack. At its head is where you'll find the male HDMI connector. So using the included HDMI cable, I'll set this up on my TV and capture card, and I recommend that you use this cable to prevent excessive weight that can damage your TV or monitor's HDMI port. So I'm all set, and when you start up for the first time, you will have the usual Windows startup wizard. Once completed, you will boot into the Windows desktop. At this point, I don't believe anyone needs to learn how to use Windows unless you are a toddler, so I'll jump right into its basic system information. So it shows that the operating system is Windows 10 Pro. The manufacturer is AWOW Technology Company Limited. You have the model and the CPU information with its base clock speed of 1.5 GHz. It also has a boost clock speed of 2.5 GHz as I'll show you in a moment. It has 8GB of RAM, it's a 64-bit operating system, and its Windows version is activated. If I dig a little deeper, in addition to what we just saw in its basic CPU information, the Ada 64 Extreme app shows that its GPU is the quad-core Intel UHD Graphics 600 with a core clock speed of 750MHz. And for some additional information, this GPU also has HDCP 2.2 protection to protect streaming services from piracy. It has 8GB of DDR4 RAM, and that's according to Intel's specification page and the AWOW product page. It has an Intel Sound Smart Technology audio adapter. Here is its system disk information and the remaining storage after the Windows installation and apps installed. Network adapter is the Intel Wireless AC7265, and this provides dual band Wi Fi and Bluetooth 4.2. And here's the BIOS information. And that's its system and hardware information. This PC stick comes with a mini display port, which allows you to connect a second monitor using a mini display to HDMI adapter. Once connected, you can use dual screen display. Under Windows, to benchmark its performance, Antutu has recently released their official Windows version of the Antutu benchmark, which you can download directly from their website. In this test, the AWOW PC stick scored 127,767. Whether this score is a good score, it's too early to tell as this is the first time I'm using the app. However, it will be used as my new reference on my rankings chart. 
in comparison to TV boxes we shall see on the Android X86 how it compares. For RAM and internal storage, it has a RAM copy speed of 7340 megabytes per second. Its internal storage has a read speed of 232 megabytes per second and a write speed of 169. These scores are good scores when compared to other similar PC sticks. Focusing specifically on its CPU performance, the Geekbench 5 CPU Benchmark app shows that it has a base frequency speed of 1.5 GHz and a maximum of 2.47 GHz, so this confirms its base on boost clock speed information. In this test, it scored 414 single core and 1273 multi core. These are consistent with similar PC sticks. The speed test performed on its Wi-Fi bands and Ethernet LAN port resulted in the 5 GHz band and the LAN port achieving 100% bandwidth on my 150 megabits per second network, and the 2.4 GHz band achieved 64%. So if your network is 100 megabits per second, so use the 5 GHz band or the LAN port to achieve the high speeds. This also confirms the LAN port is indeed a gigabit LAN port. The 2.4 GHz band due to its limitation will be suitable for speeds under 100 megabits per second. In the 3 Mark graphics benchmark, it scored 114 in the Time Spy test, 10,120 in the iStorm Extreme test, and 2,198 in the CloudGate test. These scores are also similar to recent PC sticks. So after entering the scores on my PC rankings chart, the AWOW PC stick is at position number 4 in reference to PC Mark 10 benchmark scores. Hopefully in the coming year I'll have more mini PCs and PC sticks to populate this list. You can view this chart on my blog using the link in the description below. One of the cool things you can do on this mini PC stick due to its size, power and flexibility is that you can use it as an Android TV stick to stream movies and TV shows and to play Android games or emulation gaming. Using the SD card slot, I installed Android x86 as a separate operating system where I can dual boot directly into Android or Windows if I so choose by simply configuring its BIOS. If you would like to learn how to install Android x86, see the link to my tutorial in the description below. One of the advantages of running Android x86 is that it uses the boost clock speed by default. In this case, you get 2.5 GHz and 64-bit ABIs. Just keep in mind that you may need to apply some form of active cooling. Depending on the version you install, you will get audio through its HDMI port, which will allow you to use apps such as Netflix and Amazon Prime Video to stream movies and TV shows, but it will be limited to basic quality only. You can also install Kodi and other streaming APKs for free streaming. You can play YouTube videos, but it's limited to 1080p depending on the version of the app you are using. 4K video playback can be problematic as Android x86 sometimes lack the required decoders to effectively do so. You can connect your gamepad via Bluetooth and you can enjoy both 32 and 64-bit Android games with smooth handling due to its powerful GPU, making it ideal for emulation gaming. So this is Android x86 mobile version. This version can give you problems when it comes to getting audio through the HDMI port. And this is Android x86 Android TV OS version. This special version has a special audio settings that allow you to switch to audio via HDMI and other advanced features. Here's a look at the benchmarks I got. So that was Android x86. 
The next operating system, and I left the best for last, is FidoS, which is a feature-rich operating system consisting of Chrome OS as its base operating system and Android OS as a sub-operating system. With this operating system, you can totally transform this PC stick into an Android TV stick. To install FidoS, due to the stick not having SATA expandable storage, you have to split the 128GB system disk into two, creating a new partition to install it. Once this is done successfully and you install FidoS, you are then given this cool dual boot menu upon startup to select whether you would like to boot into Windows, Linux, or FidoS. If you would like to learn how to install FidoS, see the link to my video tutorial in the description below. As mentioned, with FidoS, you get two operating systems in one. You get Chrome OS and Android operating system. So what are the advantages of using this operating system over Android? Well, firstly, it integrates fully into the Windows hardware, granting features such as 4K 2160p display at 60Hz, and if the hardware supports HDR, you will also get that. In similar fashion to Android x86, you get the boost clock speed of 2.5GHz. You also get both 32 and 64-bit ABIs to run 64-bit applications. You get OpenGL ES version 3.1 with Vulkan support, making it ideal for gaming and emulation. You get audio via HDMI without issues. You get notifications just as you have it on the Android, just that it appears in the bottom right corner as a pop-up. You get full access to the Google Play Store to install any app or APK you want. You can install root access for yourself if you so desire. You get Netflix and Amazon Prime Video in HD quality via the Chromium browser under Chrome OS, however you don't get 4K. You get dual band Wi-Fi, Ethernet LAN, and Bluetooth connectivity without issues. You can install Kodi and stream in APKs without issues. You get YouTube in 4K 2160p quality and in HDR if your hardware supports it. With Fido OS, you also get a dual monitor display. You can connect your gamepad via Bluetooth or keyboard and mouse and play your favorite Android games. And the most important feature of all is that all your apps and data is stored in a cloud. So once you successfully reinstall FireOS on this device or any other device, your apps will be automatically reinstalled. Keep in mind, due to this, the service has a one-time payment of $1.95 to access all of it. This also covers future updates. The current version is FireOS 13, but I'm using version 11 as this version allows me to install root access. So viewers, there you have it. You can do all of this and more on this PC stick. One thing I forgot to mention is that this stick does not overheat. It gets as high as the low 70s, but it doesn't overheat. So thanks goes out to the AWOW for sending their product for review. They are currently hosting a Halloween giveaway for US buyers only, which ends in just five days. So see the link in the description to take advantage of that. 
They also provided exclusive 10% discount coupons for both the 64 and 128 gigabytes models. See the coupons in the description below. Give this video the thumbs up if you enjoyed my presentation and this product. If you are new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell before leaving to keep in the loop as to when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Stay tuned and I'll be seeing you in the next one.